Hello everyone. Welcome back to Hollow Point Defense. Been getting a lot of questions in regards to red dots on the MFP pistols with or without a plate. And I'm gonna give you some examples of them and what's entailed on them. So let's go with the plate first. This is the Holoson 507 ACSS and it does require a plate. If you don't care and it's got low profile sights on, just stick to the red dot. There's nothing to change. But if you want to incorporate iron sights and the red dot, in case the red dot goes out, you still have iron sights, you have to change these out. I use Dawson Precision and they're 89 bucks plus, I think 10, 12 bucks to send them in. So about a hundred dollars sent to me and then you gotta go put them on. I do my own, so I save that money. If you go put them on, it could cost you about 20, 30 bucks. But regardless, if you get the plate one, you have to make sure your sights are suppressor height if you want to use both. So there you go. It's 50 bucks for a plate, 100 bucks for new sights, so you're about 150 bucks at least right there. If you go buy one, this is the MMP SCS, SCS MP2. It's a direct mount, no plate. Nice thing is, it's lower profile. So if your gun comes with like this one comes with standard sights. You can use a red dot and your sights. So if my sights or red dot goes out, I have the iron sights that are still available. So there you go. If you buy this one, and I will say this, the SCS when I bought it was more money than this one. I want to say it was like 50, 60 bucks more. It was, it was, it was a pretty penny. I don't remember, I think it was 250, 300, and I was getting these about 50 bucks cheaper. But check, they've changed. I've had these ones since last year, so I don't know what the prices are right now. But there's you, there you go, on plate or no plate, in some of the instances that might get involved if you do it. Let's go over it again real quick in a nutshell. If you buy one with a no plate, you can still use standard sights. Pretty simple, you save quite a bit of money right there. If you buy the 407, 507, 509T, needs a plate. And if you want to use these sights, you have to buy suppressor height sights. It's about another 100, and, 100 bucks, let's go with that. About $150 additional on top of the site. So there you go, just point blank, just short to the point. So you pick whatever's best for you. You guys have a good day.